Yeah, good day. Welcome to Martinez Design in the continuation of our SA house that we are designing for like two or three episodes right now. In the last episode, we were able to create ground floor plan. So we are in by saying this is the entrance, the porch, uh, entrance porch, and the anteroom, the living room. Then we annotate the staircase part down so which we have never concluded how we are going to design that so then we have the rooms in places so the guest room for the ground floor and this one that for the workers and things like that so semi full park side and the full area kitchen to be used and so on and so forth so in the first floor so we have something emphatically unique as well the master room the madam's room the wardrobe setting the children and some other room that is available so making the turn of uh, six rooms in this six bedroom in this uh, particular building a fantastic building of such nature so you've seen the picture initially so we continue the process from now so what do we want to do here now is i want to make sure that we put window the opening and the annotates of some of the area before we con conclude on the next step we are going to create the upper part which is uh, where the partial will be so now let's do let's go on so what i want to do now is common window is what i want to use i'm not doing anything uh, uh, unrealistic so click on the window so select the window here if you have this type of window you can just put it this are the window for toilet so you select that and put it in 2100 if you have the same challenges in your the whole rabbit so the same thing happen like that so you see that the window is not feasible so we are going to do something about it as far as possible so you do that here so the next thing is here so you have never seen where you place the window so what do you need to do you come here press escape then you come to go down and you say few range so on the few range you don't need to do anything here just click the cost plane parts then you type it and you stay 1900 so you say okay apply so everything is feasible from the window part so to every other area that did not have window you have to be so i'm going to change this one because i'm going to use this place as a closet so i'm clicking here and say p cost so the p cost i'm going to drop it here so making sure that everything is in line with what i'm designing so I have done with this one at this level. So I have a, an issue which is I need to put the, the window for the for each room. So I'm going to select one of the windows that are most useful here. So this one especially because of the height. So the height for me is okay. It's 1800. It's a long window that I want to introduce into the house. So that's 600. So that is it. So I'm going to bring them double double. So I'm going to put it here. I'm changing it here to be 2100 specific so set it up like that so same thing here same thing here so there's so many other adjustments i'm going to do that for, for the front that's the only this side so the front is going to have a different dedicated distance so i'm going to leave this side like that so just like selecting this selecting this selecting this do the same thing here do the same thing do it all around and you do it like that so you have the window opening around this place so go to the ground floor plan i'm going to do the same thing so you repeat the same method the same formula so select that and click click again so do the same thing here you can have a single one here so you do the same thing here as well so at the ground floor you have at the side you have another one here again because this is a long way window so you do the same thing here as well so the kitchen have the same thing so the same thing with this door and then the anteroom has the same thing so i think this is the annotate we have done then you select from here the last one you choose was this one so for the toilet you bring the toilet into position you change the head height as well and then you start placing them it's supposed to be i think this one is not to the real preferences so i'm done with this so what i do 
do I have here now? So I think I have created something exceptional at this level. So what do I need to do is that I need to adjust this place. <coughs> the reason why I need to adjust it <coughs> is that I have no office to on the ground floor plan. So I need to do that as quick as possible. So what do we do? So collect this one and say pick, just draw it. So I maintain this for me. So I reduce this one. So I can now just actually pick this. No. Just pick only these two, then arrow uh, key adjusting. Good, so bump back to normal and see get default into what you want to use them for. So here now you click on this and say click similar. So you put your main door here. So I don't think I've done the door for let me just check this door uh, for the Yes, they are not yet being specified whether it's the toilet door. So select all the toilet door and you change the uh, attributes. So select that, select this one as well, and you see edit. Duplicate this, call it toilet door. Say OK, then change the attribute to good for the width that's so what you need then the height can change to normal 2100 if it's your choice depends so this one is done so that is it so you cannot bring let us go and bring all the template file no let us do the first floor one so we know that we are done with the toilet activities so select that select this one and select this one as well so all you need to do is to transfer it and put it in this place so Flip this one to go in and so on and so forth. So now let us quickly do the the components to fit the component where the component is supposed to be. So like this one now you put this one, you put it here. So fix like that. So do the same thing here. Then you do the same thing here. Good. So you fix the same thing here. So what else do you need to do? You come the component again, search for the one that is available. So the next thing is the sewer. So you place the sewer where the sewer is supposed to be, like this. You need to put it in this place. And you have put the sewer here. You put the sewer here. Good. So I have the sewer completed area of this building. So you come to the component, you do the same thing for the sewer. Then you put it here as well. So you have any question while I'm placing my server at that estimate, you should ask so I'll give you the but if you already know, I think most of most of the designer have already explained something like that. So why did it need to be there? So I think if you if you have not seen such video, make make an inquiry and ask me. So I will attend to you and see to that what we have done. So you select and shift this good so what do we need now we we'll fix what we need to fix here so the next thing is that the we've not completed so we need to select the component that we are using and one of them is the we've not finished this one so pick here and fix it so the same thing you have here so if you have an issue like this you can just like pick this and let it be fixed so this one should go and fix itself. So this one should be here as well. Then, then this one so where, where should this one be? So nothing to be there anymore. Now the chair we are having is actually blocking the door. So you shift that and arrange that and set it aside. Mm -hmm. So that is done in that here. Now I want to work on this one by pressing good so i'm going to mirror this because that's not the way i want this to be but i want it to be double so select this and mirror it you know, mirror with copy sorry what are you doing please copy yes mirror with copy so select that and shift shift it down so that is it for now. So copy, color, check the component if there's any one that you can still use to make sure that these things are working perfectly. 
rectangular box the the entertainer you can select it and bring it here to stay so the entertainer stays here so what else do you need to so check and for more and more things that you need so for some basin has not been fixed so you select that put it here here, put it down up here. Yeah, it's the same thing here as well. So go to level one, get the component, select it here, select this one, then fix this one, then fix this one as well. So that's the annotate aspect that we are setting up. So this ones are there. So you not need the next thing you need to do is just to pick the scene and start writing. So let me see. I'm starting from the upper ones. So say Madame Bedroom. Madame Room. Good. So the next one is Master's Room. Good. So from here you check this, this is the Room 3. They call this children's room. So this one should be lobby or circulating. Circulation. So we have a toilet. I don't need to do that. So this one has already shown, and this one is going to be balcony. So let's go to ground floor plan where we could do the next one. So annotate as well. So you continue. So family lounge. Good. So anti room. Okay. Kitchen. Okay. Then you get visitor, visitor room. Then we call this one worker room. So we have that in place. So all this is set and we are fixing the whole way. So you can just like adjusting them for your own basic need and basic use. So these are the things you need to do and work. So if you have this in place now, the only technical confidence you have is that this particular things are set for what? You need to work on your presentation file. So like this one, we are going to change this and click here and say duplicate. I'm going to say, I'm not going to duplicate, just let me change everything politically. So here and just say two, Point seven, and I'm changing this one to techniques. Then I will adjust it that way. So here I will do this and go to underlay. I want to underline it. Then make it bold. So I say okay, good. So it give me some fill level. So if you want to make sure that you have the, you want to do that, you can do that on your phone. If you don't want to, you can just like it on back so if you have the graphic dark like this that the also block is dark how do you do that so on your computer <coughs> just go to <coughs> i want to change it to double line instead of singular so just go to view on the view just click on visibility graphics on this visibility graphics if you choose one you can change it here so let me just explain this thing differently of this thing to you so if I, if you change it here you can click on wall so on the wall you click here and just like look for where the afternoon or whatsoever it is and they are all there so the problem is that if you set it from here override the cut line so this is the cut line pattern you go to the overline and you do the cut line pattern or here so you see that is giving you no recognition because something here is so far riding so where do you do that you go to object object style at the object style this is what the material part that you edited so this is this is the way you want to so you say wall you come to wall 
a default wall you select that part at that part when you select it you are going to see what will pump up when it pump up in this way you go to graphics from the graphic aspect now you come to the cut pattern so cut pattern you see foreground and background so you need to change them to none so select pattern no pattern select pattern and say no pattern you click ok and you see apply so when you say ok you can imagine immediately everything disappear from that so that is how it will happen in all the all areas so when you go to level one even though when you cut section this is going to be a double line that you are going to be seeing but if you have an issue that okay you want to just one one double line here and maybe the upper one and the lower one you have to have a, a solid block so you go to let me just use the ground floor as a sample come to feasibility graphics again click on that so here is where you are going to stay the first phase you are not going to go to object style you are just going to stay at like this position and you select wall cut pattern is what you are going to work on so you click on this one and see for right cut pattern so you click on this and where did you come from so you go to foreground so foreground now you select this pattern and you select solid fill so solid fill here you say okay and then you apply this so you click here you see that this one is there but when you go to level two you are not going to see there because it's only applied to the words to the feasibility of what the page you are saying so the working area is what this that one is going to work on unlike that previous one that work when you click on that it generates all the model that you have done so i'm going to return it back to wherever you are so you have gotten that aspect now so i'm returning it back to the original pattern of what i have done before so i'm going to click here and then remove it from there so i'm going back to my new uh, no pattern so click that and let it be so that is what you need to do so if you have it here now you just like clicking on this and see whether you have tick line in expression if like this line is not there in expression you can press VG on your keyboard VG on your keyboard and press that and this will pop up then you click on objective style then you come to the wall so instead of going to this part you come to the line with cut you see projection and you see cut so under the cut you select this line and you change it to something thicker so you're going to pick let's say i'm picking nine for now so i apply that line i will say okay and i will say okay so go to this and set the tick line can you see so the tick line you have here is same thing i'm going to have in level two as well so the tick line is deeper and it's bigger so if you want that double line is structuring that is the best part to work it out so i'm leaving this for you and so you can practice and touch whatsoever you want to just so this is the beauty of it so you can change the color if you want to change the color as well the position which you use to do that is the same way you are going to follow through and do whatsoever you want to do and that is how you walk your way in the Revit. so thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial where we are going to create the staircase and the style with the staircase